Hi, my name is Sina and I'm your Design Journey Art Class Expert for Drawing Animals. In these seven sessions, I will show you easy ways to draw animals, as well as coloring and painting techniques that will make your animal really stand out on the paper. Currently, I'm studying biology and I've always liked animals and nature. When I was around 10 years old, I started my interest in drawing. And at age 15, I started to share my artwork on Instagram on a regular basis. My first drawings I felt proud of were of animals, drawn with just a regular graphite pencil. But after some time, I felt a bit tired of drawing with this style alone. I've learned that animals are so much more fun to draw when I try out new techniques, when I draw different animals, and when I learn new things about the animals I didn't know from before. Seeing animals like birds and mammals in action, underwater creatures, even the smallest animals through a microscope can offer a lot of inspiration and new drawing ideas. Throughout these sessions I will show you some guidelines that will help you to draw animals with confidence. Our main targets are three important things. Firstly, we will work on how to simplify the shape, texture and main characteristics of the animals. Secondly, we will focus on the composition of the animal's body, the eyes, along with shading and lighting to create a body shape. Thirdly, I will show you a couple of clever and technical drawing tips. How to create a project sketch and how to compose different elements in your animal drawing. We will use a variety of different drawing materials such as colored pencils, charcoal and watercolors. Today we are focusing on how to draw cartoon animals. But what is actually the secret behind a good cartoon drawing? So let's get started. For this session you need super soft color pencils, a set of drawing pencils, and I will use this set of drawing pencils in all of the seven sessions. This set basically contains everything you need to start sketching. There are six different pencils with six different grades an eraser and a sharpener. I'll also use a pigment liner with a size 0.5 mm, blending stamps, acrylic white paint, a paintbrush and a greaseproof paper. The drawing paper is around 200 grams per square meter and fine grained. So to start this session I will show you a couple of photographs. This is a cockatoo and a rainbow lorikeet. And these two birds are the inspiration of my cartoon drawing. Cartoons are not about realism. I think the secrets behind creating a good cartoon drawing is about number one, only focus on the main traits. Select the traits that are most eye-catching. For instance, the feathers on top of the cockatoo's head. And number two, you can exaggerate the traits of your choice. For instance, I'm thinking of drawing the beak and their heads much larger compared to reality. The other most eye-catchy traits I want to exaggerate are the long tail, the really curved beak, and of course the colors of the rainbow lorikeet. These are the main traits I want to transfer onto the paper. And thirdly, and very important, do not care too much about details. For example, I will draw the feathers without any detailed structures. To begin with, I start sketching with a graphite pencil from the drawing set. And remember, do not put too much pressure on the pencil while you're drawing because we want to erase these lines later. Usually when I draw cartoons, I like to begin to draw the shape of the head and body. I do not care about the details on the face or on the wings. When I'm done drawing the head and body, I focus on the other traits, uh, which is the feathers on the head and details in the face. I start drawing the beak, placing it on the left side of the head. So the bird is looking towards us. The lower part of the eye is angled upward to create a happy expression. Many of the details in the face also consist of basic shapes. For instance, the eye is a half circle and the upper beak is a triangle. By drawing a few triangular shapes on the wings, I create an impression of texture. Then I'm outlining my cartoon with a thicker pigment liner. When the lines are thicker, I don't have to be afraid of coloring outside of them. Hey! 
so feel also free to add your own personalized details here like clouds or flowers or something else you like I will go for some flying leaves so finally now I will start to color this cartoon I'll start to color with the super soft color pencils in some colors that I like. Besides personalizing my cartoon by taking inspiration from different birds and kind of merge them, I will also create my own color combination. But it's still inspired by the rainbow lorikeet. I like to start coloring the head of the animal. That's just a personal preference. Remember also to use a greaseboard paper to prevent the colored pencils from smudging out without purpose. It is also easier to accomplish more even layer of colors when you color in circular motions. I'll try to create some cool color transitions here from light green to dark green and from dark blue to light blue as well as green to blue. Coloring one color transition, I used the blending stamps in circular motion to smooth out the colors a bit. With the super soft color pencils, it is easy to color in layers by adding colors on top of each other. And you can create new color combinations in that way. Cartoon drawing is a fun way to learn how to draw animals. It gives your creativity a lot of flexibility. In this way, you can put your own personal touch on the final drawings also. Lastly, I'm adding some white acrylic paint to highlight and give the bird a more cool, shiny and more outstanding look. I noticed that a part of the drawing looks kind of empty, so I decided to fill in the empty space with some colorful feathers. And now the drawing is done! My favorite type of animals are birds. I think they have so many fascinating traits. Did you know that there is a bird with a tongue looking like a paintbrush? And that's the rainbow lorikeet. They use their tongues to reach the nectar and pollen inside their favorite flowers. I would love to see your results from this session. Feel free to use the hashtag MyDesignJourney and share your beautiful artwork with us. Nature has a lot of inspiration to offer. And by simple steps, you can draw animals in no time. 